Hi guys, greetings of the day, myself Vijay Tavadhan and in this video lecture session I am going to show you a solution on projection of solids and an example problem is like this. A hexagonal pyramid 25 mm sides of base and 50 mm axis length rests on HP on one of its corners of the base. Such that the two base edges containing the corner on which it rests make equal inclinations with HP. Draw the projections of the pyramid when the axis of the pyramid is inclined to HP at 40 degree and appears to be inclined to VP at 45 degree. So according to the given conditions, uh, so one can go to an applications, macros, run macro, click on the inside polygon, say open, then the flat line should be selected as 25 millimeter and then number of sides in the hexagon are always 6 and then press the left click on the screen anywhere with the help of a mouse so that one will get the proper hexagon. Now this hexagon is supposed to be rotated in such a way that it is going to be the resting on one of its corners. So I will select this edge and I will make that edge as vertical edge so that it will become a corner resting and it will be positioned below the XY line properly on the HP. Then using a 0.5 millimeter thick, one has to draw the diagonal lines as a dark lines to show that this is going to be the slant edges of the hexagon when it is seen from the top and also change the line thickness to 0.13 millimeter and draw all the projectors from the respective corners of the hexagon to draw the front view. Now once it is done then find out the intersection point of the NA2 diagonal so that when we will get the apex position sorry not apex position axis position axis position is going to be projected and the axis is supposed to be joined in the form of axis line that is chain line and the height is given as 50 millimeter so we will set the height as 50 millimeter then change the line thickness to 0.5 and a continuous line so one can able to join this triangle as a front view like this sorry uh, the front view as a triangle like this and then after which make use of a smart dimension or a distance between whatever it may be show that the height is 50 millimeter and the size of the hexagon is 25 millimeter then make use of a text command start naming the corners as A, B, C, D, E and this is going to be F and this is going to be O as well as O1 and in the same fashion in the front view this will become A dash then we have B dash as well as F dash and after which we have O1 dash and after which we have C dash as well as A dash and then we have D dash and in the same fashion the apex will be named as O dash. Now one can say that the front view is completed in all aspects. Then the axis is inclined to HP at 40 degree. So one has to select the front view, go with the command called as move and take the resting corner D dash on the XY line at uh, convenient distance and locate it properly on the XY line. Then go for a rotate command. Rotate the base with respect to D dash as fixed and D dash as rotating and the base angle is supposed to be 90 minus angle theta 40 degree that is the base is supposed to be rotated at an angle of 50 degree and after which make sure that the axis is clearly incl uh, inclined at 40 degree yes now it is inclined at 40 degree and then go for the next step that is go to a line command with the thickness of 0.13 and a continuous line start drawing the projectors from the respective corners now O dash is connected to here so along with O we have D as well as we have B sorry not B A then O1 is going to be up to that position and after which C is going to be connected to C C and B is together so that we will connect the B also to here so now to avoid confusions lock the angle to 90 degrees since we are drawing the vertical projector if it was a horizontal projector the angle must be 0 degree and then we hope we have completed all the projectors and then after completing all the projectors make use of a text command start naming the corners as A, B, C and this is going to be D, this is going to be E, F and this is going to be O1 and this is going to be O and after which complete the boundary using a 0.5 mm thick lines that is the boundary is going to be A, A to B B to C, C to O and O to E and then F back to A is going to be the boundary line. Now from the top bases away from the observer compared to the apex hence the base edges must be in invisible. The base edges which are not on the boundary line must be shown as invisible edges that is E to D 
and D to C must be invisible. Now the base is invisible, such of the slant edges which are passing inside the invisible base are always visible. Hence for the edges OF as well as OB must be shown as visible edges and the slant edges which are passing outside the invisible edges is always invisible. So O to D must be invisible and then O to A is passing inside the visible base and it must be visible that is OA is going to be made as visible. Now OD even though it is invisible it cannot be represented so we can label. Then without forgetting the axis in the form of a chain line should be connected from O1 to O. Now by this one can say that the second stage is completed in all aspects. Then the axis is inclined to HP at 40 degree and appears to be inclined to VP at 45 degree. So the beta angle is given because we are getting the apparent angle over here. So apparent angle has to be constructed on the apparent length. So apparent length must be always constructed on apparent angle. So the given angle is also apparent angle. One need not to construct it. So make use of a line command with a thickness of 0.13 and a continuous line and construct an inclined line whose angle is supposed to be set for angle 45 that is the angle beta. Now after constructing this beta line one has to take this top view completely on the beta line using the move command. Move in such a way that O1 is going to be repositioned. We will select the O1 properly. O1 has to be positioned on the 45 degree line like this. Then go for a rotate command. Rotate in such a way that O1 is there on the 45 degree line and O is going to be shifted on the 45 degree line like this. Then make use of a line command and start drawing the projectors. So we shall connect uh, C to C here. So now C to C is going to be connected along with C we have E. So we will complete the E. So lock the angle as 90 as I told you and then go to B and F. So we will complete uh, the position of B as well as EF. So B is completed. The next F is going to be completed and lock the angle as 90 degree and then O1 is going to be completed to O1. Then we have D. So D is up to the XY line. So angle is 90 degree and then A is up to this height. So we will lock the angle as 90 and connect to A dash and the remaining is up exposition O dash to O dash. So this completes all the projectors. Then make use of a text command start naming the corners as A dash, this as B dash, this as C dash and this is going to be D dash, this is going to be E dash and this is going to be F dash and this is going to be O1 dash and this is going to be O dash. And after completing these namings using a line command with a thickness of 0.5 millimeter and a continuous line join the boundary first that is A dash to O dash, O dash to C dash, then D dash, then it is going to be E dash, F dash, A dash is going to be the boundary line. And after completing the boundary, the base is nearer to the observer and compared to the apex, hence the base edges must be visible. That is A dash to B dash, B dash to C dash is visible. Such of the slant edges which are passing inside the visible base are invisible. Now which are that? That is F dash to O dash and O dash to E dash as well as D dash to O dash is invisible. Now the slant edges which are passing outside the visible base is always visible. That is B dash to O dash is supposed to be the visible line and after which the chain line has to be represented from O to O1 in the form of a chain line. Now the axis line is also represented. Now by this one can say that the problem is completed in all aspects. Now if you are having any sort of doubts please feel free to contact me at this number. And also kindly share this video to all your first year engineering students and also do subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thanks, the, thanks for watching this video once again.